Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeeves, guys. So today we were at all kinds of live storage auctions and didn't win a single one. But we have a ton more auctions to go to tomorrow and the next day. So we will definitely get at least a video or two out this week with storage units. But since we're out here in the country in an area we've never really been and we figured why not at least hit the thrift store so we didn't waste the trip for nothing. So we're here at the local Salvation Army, only about five minutes away from that last storage unit. We're going to go inside, see if we can't find anything that looks fun, useful, or something that we can resell and make some money while we're out here. So without further ado, let's get in there. All right, so they have a lot of nice shoes in here, honestly. Like, I have never actually seen these. Look at these. Nike book. They're like composition book Nikes. And they still have a tag on them. I have no idea how much something like this is. I wish they were my size. I actually do like these. Like, honestly, they look kind of strange, but I wear, like, mostly everything I wear is black and white, so black and white would actually fit me. Or would actually fit my style, not really the size, honestly. It doesn't match my sweatshirt. Those galaxy shoes. Yeah, like, this is the most amount of good shoes I've ever seen. And Jordans. And Nike. Yeah, Nike, too. Usually, like, you have one pair of Jordans. Yeah. Solid gold. Jack shoes. You know, I wanted Shaq shoes so much when I was little just because when I played basketball, everybody called me Shaq. My <laughs> mom would never let me get them. She's like, you can't have those shoes. They're bum shoes. I'm like, why can't I have Shaq shoes? I like Shaq. This is something I've never seen at any thrift store. Like, they have literal drawers for their games and other things. They are like Looney Tunes. Best thing ever. Battlefield 3, I know I found that a bunch of times. So that tells me it's not a worth the game. <laughs> Mass Effect. It's a fun game. Five bucks is like, it's not even a thrift store anymore. I feel like, I felt like when we came out in the country more like, it'd be cheaper, but it looks like just as bad. What's in here? CDs. I always look through the CDs because you can always, they always mistake like um, PlayStation 1 games. I found them in here before. You never know. Let's see what else is down here. Oh, we're done, Barney. <laughs> Going home with Barney. Just Dance at PS4. Oh, Blu-ray. That's sealed now. Five bucks. Five. The, the individual discs from the season. Like, these are only... There's supposed to be, like, three to four of these in every uh, season. And it's, like, three bucks a piece. There's some Naruto back there. Dragon all these better than Naruto all day. Man, like two bucks a piece on the CDs, <laughs> they don't play. They do not play one bit. There's like, let's see. Just literally nothing. If you need DC sweatshirts, Salvation Army in Maryland. Also, coats, all coats, all coats are 1999 or less. Employee behind me staring at me, making it a little awkward, but. We're still gonna see what we can find. We're looking for mainly sports stuff. Especially football, because it's in season. We came to Ray and Nationals from 2018. Has a little stain right here, but it's a nice sweatshirt still. But overall, I don't see any sports really. I've never seen these kind of shirts. They are Mama and Papa, six dollars. Another thing we were looking at, like all the shirts are, I mean, even the kids' shirts are like three bucks, and then this kid's jacket's like twenty, and it's a Salvation Army. Dress shirts are eleven dollars. <laughs> it's just gotten to be so ridiculous with anything in a thrift store, especially the commercial ones, Goodwill or. Salvation Army, everything's so expensive. Ooh, look at all the mattresses back there. That's crazy. If we found mattresses in the storage units, we could bring them here as long as they're in a package. Psych, no, they don't take anything. Anyway, this store is really awkward because they're playing music and everything's so close together. So we're trying to get some footage for you guys, but the employees are kind of staring at us because they don't understand what we're doing. So it's kind of making it even more awkward. So we'll see you at the next one. 
Needless to say, guys, we did not get jack squatting here, but we still have about 40 miles until we get home. So we're gonna punch in thrift stores along the route. Hopefully, find some more that's not Salvation Army and not Goodwill. Unless it's a Goodwill outlet, but let's look for more thrift stores on the way home, and I'll see you at the next one. All right, guys. So while we're on the way to our next thrift store, trying to find the next thrift store that is, I just want to ask you guys, what other videos should we upload on this channel when there's no storage units around? So obviously the storage units seem to be everyone's favorites and they do the best and they are my favorites and the most fun to do as well. But obviously they're not every day and we can't do a storage unit every single day. So for the days we can't do it, what else should we upload? We've been trying to still do dumpster diving, but it has just been absolutely terrible. And we've literally gone three or four nights in a row for multiple hours and came back with absolutely nothing. So that's why we're trying to thrift stores out here. We're really trying to mix it up. The dumpster diving is just getting like way too many people doing it nowadays and they're destroying stuff. Like some of our spots have no trespassing signs now because of idiots. So that's getting kind of hard to do. But as far as thrift stores, what else do you guys want to see is with treasure hunting? I've had a few people suggest to do another magnet fishing video. I did that once and it was kind of a flopped video. No one seemed to like it that much. But if you think I should do that again, I'll definitely do it. Just give me ideas. We just want ideas. Just let me know what you like and we'll try to do it. But anyway, let's hit on to the next thrift store. Guys, for everyone that's new to this channel, I had to work at this crappy Toyota dealership here for a year and a half. Worst job I ever had. Give it all the middle finger emojis you can because I cannot stand that place. But anyway, we did not come across any more thrift stores on the way home. So we're going to go by and check the shopping center over here that we used to check for you guys that have been watching for a while. The ones that we used to check during the day. There's a Barnes & Noble, a PetSmart, and I think a TJ Maxx over here. So we're going to go hit the dumpsters as quick as possible during the day. we got to get in and out as fast as possible. But hopefully we can find some cool stuff in the dumpsters. Let's go check. All right, guys. So we're at Barnes & Noble. We're just going to take a quick peek and see if we see any boxes in in there oh my gosh one two three and they look full okay so I'm gonna have to put this camera back really quick and I'm gonna try to sneak around and grab them obviously it's only three in the afternoon so the employees are still in there so I'm gonna put the camera back and grab these boxes I'll be right back well guys we got them one two three boxes from Barnes and Noble and from what we can see in there it is not destroyed stuff it's all perfectly good stuff so once we get it home we'll go through the boxes but we're gonna go over there and see how the PetSmart dumpster looks and see if we can get anything over there so we'll be right back all right guys PetSmart dumpster had employees throwing boxes away so we just drove by it so for now we're gonna just go ahead and head home and then take all the Barnes and Noble boxes in and see what we got because it looks to be full boxes and like I said from what we can see on the top none of it looks to be destroyed so fingers crossed it's gonna be an epic haul I'll see you when we get there all right guys so before we got home we had to take care of some business at Best Buy because guess what's finally out Spyro remastered on the Xbox one guys Spyro is one of my favorite all-time games ever as a kid definitely Spyro Year of the Dragon one of my top three favorite games still to this day of all time I've been waiting for this remastered edition for so long and I cannot wait to go home and play this but first we're gonna go home and go through all those Barnes & Noble boxes I will see you then alright guys now that we're home let's go through the three Barnes & Noble boxes and see what we actually end up got it's been a long time since we've actually got anything dumpster diving so I was actually happy to get this stuff so let's go through the box first thing we got literary is that what it says yep literary art print it says that on the back from F. Scott Fitzgerald. One of those names you learn in school and you kind of completely forget later on in life. I know I've heard that name so many times. We got, let's see, calendars, joy, March 2018 through August 2019. So it's almost got a full good year on them. We have, let's see, Michael Vay, Fall of Hate. Just a book. And we'll end up most likely just scanning all the books through the clutter and seeing what they're worth and then donating the ones that aren't worth anything for us. So easy thing beggars cheaters book another book let's see web copy that sells hey we have a camera case for the instincts we actually found one of these cameras a pink one of these in one of the storage units and i think we have it on ebay right now so i might have to go back and edit that listing and add the case with it if it's in good shape like it looks like i mean it's a blue case and the camera's pink so but still a case is the case you know you gotta keep your stuff safe oh uh, we got just a simple planner. Another planner. Let's see. Grandmother and granddaughter. A stack of these books. What is this? Hitler's Elite. 
Now, you guys that have been watching my channel for a while, why do you think they would always find Hitler stuff in the Barnes & Noble dumpster? Like, that's like the fourth or fifth different Hitler book that we found in the Barnes & Noble dumpster. I guess nobody wants to read about Hitler. I don't blame them. We got Live Love book. And we got <laughs> two more of the Hitler books. Oh, Barnes & Noble. Hey, look, one of these things. We used to find these yokai watch pieces all the time at GameStop. It's been a long time since we found them, but... It looks like we might have like a binder or something here for collecting. They look like almost like pogs. I don't know what the show is, but that's what they remind me of. It might be a binder to keep them all in and collect them and things like that. On the dick boat. And it looks like we have a bunch of candy in here. Sweet tea straws. I gotta admit, that sounds terrible. Very terrible. But we have one, two, three, four. We got a different brand here. We have lemon and lime as well. And that's literally all the rest of the box is full with different types of candy straws. That's one box. The second box over here looks to be pretty much absolutely loaded with nothing but books, but I'll try to dig into it just a little bit to give you guys an idea what we have. More of these books, 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 books. And like I said, we have a donation bin. It's a mile from the house, so we scan to see what we can actually sell in to declutter for money and just donate the rest. So, I'm always happy with books. Dog here. A bunch more books. Another stack of about four books. And yeah, I think you get the picture. This whole box is completely loaded with probably 30 to 40 books if I had to guess. And the last one here, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Okay, this one's not all books. It looks like we also have some planners. Again, they're 2018 through 2019, so they might have a little bit of time left in them. Not much. They might be junk, but they're probably something we could donate to a school. Uh, find your balance bracelet. That's random. More books. Looks like, yeah, all the way through is either planners or books. So the planners probably get donated to a school. The books, we'll see what we can send into the declutter and get a little bit of money for it and donate the rest of them. And the other random stuff... I don't know what we'll do with. But anyway, guys, fun day of storage and hunting, even though we didn't win any. Fun day of thrifting, even though we didn't get anything. We <laughs> actually got something dumpster diving. Like, what, what the heck? In the middle of the day. As I was complaining about never finding anything, we find something at Barnes & Noble. So, wild day, but that's the fun of it. So, thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave it a big, fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos every single day. And if you want to follow us on our social media links, they'll be on screen. Just click the links down in the description below. Make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace out.